Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health is working closely with schools to ensure a safe learning environment for all students, teachers and support staff. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George says the entire nation must act as custodians of students and follow all protocols in order to avert another crisis which would result in the closure of schools. We appeal to parents to work closely with the schools to ensure a coordinated approach during this transition. We also appeal to the minibus sector to follow all recommended protocols to allow the safe transportation of students to school. We continue to ask the public to work with us and exhibit responsible behavior to ensure our recorded COVID-19 numbers remain low. We are working to ensure the sustainable school reopening for all of our children. Let us all take personal responsibility to keep ourselves and family safe. Our behavior as adults directly affects the education of our children at this point. We have available both the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca vaccine free of charge in country at our various wellness centers. And these vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19, its severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. Parents are also encouraged to vaccinate their children from 12 years and older. Let us make the educational environment safer. Dr. Sharon Belmar George says public adherence to the protocols is yielding results. The Ministry of Health is reporting a further reduction in the transmission rate, hospitalization rates, positivity rates, and prevalence rates, and forecasts average resolution of this fourth COVID wave by November 2021. From July 25, 2021 to present, we note 6,897 cases at an average of 75 cases per day. 50% are in the age group 25 to 49 years. 57% of the cases are female. At present, we have 400 active cases in country. The majority of the cases are from Castries, Grosile, Viewfort, and Babano. We are also managing a COVID-19 outbreak at the Bordelais Correctional Facility. There are presently 34 COVID-19 patients admitted to the respiratory hospital and seven of them are severely ill. The daily infection rate for the past week was 14 per 100,000 per day, which is a 25% decrease from the previous week. We note a steady decline in the rate of transmission at this point with a present rate of 1.2. During that period, we also note 151 COVID-19 deaths, on average three deaths daily, with a case fatality rate of 1.9%. Males account for 57% of the deaths. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar-George.